like is so repulsive to me right now. I got the boogie man. Oh, definitely thrilling, let me tell you. There are just plot holes in my brain. <laughs> Even Joey sobbed. What's up, it's Jan, back at it again with another nerdy bookish video. Welcome to this month's monthly cramming vlog. <laughs> It's currently 4.40 in the morning, going to the gym. I will be finishing all the dangerous things today at some point, hoping I have enough time to finish it before I even go into work, but we shall see. But this is definitely happening this week. If you miss the news, I have decided I'm giving up on TBRs for now. I mean, for the rest of the year for sure, because just the thought of it just feels so liberating. Also, can we talk about how cute those are it's like a little gallery of headshots of classic monsters and slashers anyway going to the gym we're gonna do this thing it is currently monday the 27th the 31st is friday so i'm gonna take this into friday and then start my full moon book club vlog from there oh my arm hurts how, don't, how am i supposed to do a workout brought my kindle too so i'm either gonna read howl's moving castle for the first time a couple chapters into that and then i also have air awakens by elise kova which is jody from vanilla moon's a patreon book club pick next month I'm gonna get a head start on that if anything i don't know what my hair is doing. Hope y'all enjoy this vlog. We're gonna try to have a good week, okay? okay. I ain't tripping on yesterday, forgetting all of my mistakes. And now I'm on my own, yeah. Travel down the road, I walk along, yeah. I ain't tripping on yesterday. looking presentable. I need to like get in the habit of starting my vlogs looking good, otherwise people won't watch my videos. That's how my head works. It's Monday, happy Monday. Got my workout in, I got some reading in, but I did not finish before I have to leave for work. I have like 10 more minutes before I have to go. I have like 70 pages left. So hopefully I can crank most of it out by my lunch break, she said hopefully, but it's fucked y'all. This book is so messed up and I'm so here for it. It's definitely just as good as a flicker in the dark and that's coming from someone who doesn't like the missing child trope so do check out this author if you are into thrillers with a bunch of twists in a row not just like one big one or whatever i did guess pretty early on like i said i think or no that was in my previous vlog but i did guess pretty early on one of the twists possibly then there's this other one that's even more fucked up and i'm like Wow, love it. Can't wait to read her next book already, even though this one just came out in January. Oh, at the gym, I read 15 pages of Air Awakens by Elise Kova. That one's pretty good too. I mean, not gonna lie, I don't really know exactly what's going on. I'm kind of just vibing, but the main character is bookish as fuck, so I'm down a clown with her. But after this, I don't know what I'm gonna read. I'm definitely gonna read a couple chapters of Dracula because I missed out on it. I'm trying to read a chapter a day. I'm like a hundred something pages in but I skipped my chapters this weekend because of Gabby's Screaming Color Readathon, which was super fun. I'll probably just continue one of my current reads, one of my like literally 10, nine or 10 other current reads, possibly Autumn of the Grimoire or maybe Lessons in Chemistry, but I could very well just start a whole new book. Maybe The Spite House because that's Kayla's book club pick and it is on my TBR, my last TBR for a while. So we'll see. Oh, I'm also reading Pack Up the Moon, which is gonna make me sob. So if I feel like crying later, 
I'll read Pack Up the Moon. Or, oh, Days of Blood and Starlight, which is a sequel to Daughter of Smoking Book. So I have options, but will I end up starting a new book? You know what's calling to me right now is Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murder, the new Jesse Q. Satanto book. Might start that because it is a cozy mystery, so it might go pretty fast, but I have a shit ton of library books that I gotta get through. Maybe I'll read a shorter one finally. We shall see, but definitely gonna finish this. Okay gonna read that. Okay, another update because my heart rate is through the roof. This thriller is great. Definitely thrilling, let me tell you. I think I'm on a thriller kick or like a mystery kick. I don't even know. I just, I love it. Here. Hello. I'm here on my lunch break with an update. I'm now on page 286 out of 320. It is so whack, y'all. Like, I'm literally kind of sick to my stomach. I don't know if that's just like all the hot Cheetos I ate. <laughs> I had Subway for lunch. I was getting kind of hangry and just lightheaded almost, just almost. But also just like pissed off at everything. I just like want to go home. I don't know if I'm just extremely tired or if I'm genuinely sad today. I don't know. It's always on Mondays where I miss Joey a little extra if I can be sappy for two seconds because we always have really good weekends. So Mondays are difficult. I had a good morning though, so this is weird. But I also started the audiobook for I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy because I did buy that from Pango for pretty cheap last month and I usually don't read audiobooks if I have it physically but for memoirs it's different I guess I don't know I guess it's a five-star prediction because everyone loves it so you know I'm gonna own it I did it with Know My Name by Chanel Miller too just because the audiobook is hard to get so now that it's available I'm like okay let's do it it's only a six-hour audiobook so I'm hoping to get a huge chunk of it if I listen to it at work but I've honestly just not I made my hair appointment for this Friday so no more of this terrible root situation. But yeah, I have to get through this week again. Why do five days feel so long, y'all? Like, I'm so ready to just do, like, three-day weekends and ten-hour days. Not that that's happening anytime soon. But yeah, I'm really liking this. Obviously, can't really read at work. So I'm gonna finish this as soon as I get home from work. I'm probably not gonna nap. I'll probably chug an energy drink or something. So then I can get up early again tomorrow. Because I successfully did not fall back asleep this morning. All right. I gotta go back in. I'll talk to y'all after work. <laughs> Finished it, like I said I would, as soon as I got home. And boy, did that wake me up. It gave me so much energy. Not really, I'm still fucking tired, but like definitely like my eyes were not blinking in those last like 15 pages. Oh my God, so good, five stars. Definitely my new favorite thriller author. She knows how to write some twists, y'all. Both of her books so far are such good fucking thrillers. If y'all like Riley Sager's twists, her twists, are even higher levels of fucked up. Dude, I was here for every single page and they go so quickly. You truly just keep <clears throat> thinking it's a cliche thriller where it's, you know, who you think it is at all times, right? But it's not, it's not amazing. I don't know which one I like better. I think, I, mm, I feel like this is more unpredictable than A Flicker in the Dark. I think because this one has an unreliable narrator, which I always love. Do I like this one more? I like the premise of A Flicker in the Dark more though but i think i like the way this was told more but i think i like the writing in a flicker in the dark more <laughs> so i don't know they're pretty tied right now because i was shook and shaken by a flicker in the dark too again i assumed it was the cliche situation oh my god i don't know i'd have to think on that one a little more i really want to read my junji ito book because i can just fly through that and have two books done today i got to like 20 percent of i'm glad my mom died so i gotta see what page i'm on physically for that one. The chapters are so short. I feel like that one's going by so fast, but it's weird because Jeanette McCurdy talks so fucking fast, so I have to have it at 1.95 speed, and even then, like, if I'm not focusing, I'm gonna miss everything. She's talking about, like, acting and shit now, so I'm kind of just like, Bleh. I want like the toxic mom relationship, you know? I mean, it's in there, but it's not like the main focus. Like she's going through her first auditions when she was younger and shit. Just can't wait for the iCarly moments. Oh, I gotta read like three chapters of Dracula at some point tonight too, because I need to catch up. See if that happens. Joey's laying on the floor. Oh this is what happens behind the camera. Some things y'all don't see. Yeah. Look at him. You said we were gonna practice our reel. Oh God. 
<laughs> We're gonna eventually do that boom, boom, shake, shake trend. It'll be so much fun. It'll uh, be so worth it, but like- I'm gonna get hurt in the process. Yeah, we're gonna both break our backs, our old person backs, either. but it'll be worth it. It'll be so funny to look back on. It's just the effort of like practicing and filming. Again, we're old people, so. <laughs> That's the update. So sunny out, but we're like exhausted. Bye-bye now. Okay, I think I've decided to make this a challenge video where I read or I attempt to read 200 pages a day. I just read a little bit more of Junji Ito. So now we're at like 175 or something like that, maybe more. But I was at 167 even before Junji Ito. So we're gonna see, it's Monday. And conveniently the month ends on Friday. So perfect for a weekly reading vlog. So wish me luck. Get you a Joey who lets you read at all times of the day. <laughs> We're gonna go meet up with Mama Agaton now because she's gonna feed me. Hello, we got ice cream. Sorry I didn't vlog at all. We went to this Filipino restaurant with my mom and my stepdad. We went to TJ Maxx to get some stuff we're about to show you. Yeah. And we went to Michael's to get some puzzle glue and a frame for our long-awaited poster, custom poster Ooh, that I made him. By the way, this is not wine. Water. It's water. I just gave him my chalice. He still doesn't drink. Yeah. I went there for a water bottle because you know, we have a Brita now. We got a Brita filter. So I got this. <clears throat> they didn't have too many good options. This is the closest to my vibe. It's just cheetah print. First gonna show. I'm not done. I know, but I'm just saying, we're gonna turn this out. Oh I'm God. gonna show the one Stop rustling, I'm trying to sh talk. And then I got fitness gloves. <laughs> Cause I need new ones cause the other ones <coughs> was a gift from my ex and I don't want to wear them anymore. Yeah, and they were right floral. Here. So I got these cause they're cute and they were the only smalls. Look how little they are. Look how little. Okay. Okay. First I'm going to show my solo one. I thought this was cool. She doesn't care for doing it, but I do. I just don't like how big it is. Cause Bob like, zombie baby. It's a cool design. It'll just make your body look weird. You don't know that. Your body is a wonderland. It's like really big. This is a large. It's huge. Okay, so that's that one. And now we got two matching shirts. Which one are you showing me first? This one first. Okay. Ready? Ready? Ta da! I don't know why mine has different Patrick's, but yours is different. I don't know. SpongeBob. This is so this stupid. Is why did we buy this? That's so cool. I'm embarrassed. I love it. Oh no, it's dying. Come on. Okay. The oh, second no. one? The second one? This oh. one's cool. Yeah, this one is cool. She got ghost face. You got the boogeyman, Aww. Michael Myers. This I would wear with you in public. The yes. other one, maybe not. <laughs> no, we are definitely wearing that in public. The next metal show we go to. Look how cool. Okay, it looks kind of. This could be our. Wait, is yours Christmassy too? It's like winter. Oh, it's winter and like Halloweenish. Anywho, that's yeah. the haul. I'm gonna change out the battery eventually tomorrow. But I'm gonna read the rest of my 200 pages while we watch an episode of From Scratch. But we are tired, motherfuckers. So I'll talk it out. Good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. bullshit right now oh my god you gotta fucking see this shit when you're done Good morning. It's 8 a.m. now. I'm about to go shower real quick and get ready for work. I already put it up there, but I finished Fragments of Horror by Junji Ito. Gave it five stars, dude. Like, y'all saw my visceral reactions this morning. Joey was listening to them too when he was still here, but it was so good. Every single story was so fucking creepy. I think my least favorite story was definitely the last one, but it was still like a high three star. All the other ones though were five stars in that story collection. So it's definitely in my top faves for Junji Ito's works. I didn't get to 
to edit this morning because I really wanted to finish that book and I filmed a reel this morning too. So follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Guys, I'm three, three subscribers away from 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm literally gonna projectile vomit. I just don't know. If I hit it tonight, I will cry. If I don't, I'll still cry. No, but I mean, obviously, definitely by the end of the week, I feel like it'll happen. So it's giving me motivation to wanna edit and upload tonight if I could. We're gonna hope for the best, but I'm in a high, high, high reading mood. I'm gonna bring Dracula to work actually so I can catch up with that during my lunch break hopefully. But honestly, I literally talked to myself. I was like, in my heart of hearts, what am I in the mood to read? And I kind of want to continue with Air Awakens by Elise Kova because I read that during my cardio portion of my workout today and it's getting kind of intense. I'm intrigued. There's not much, like I still, I need more to really like be invested in the characters and their dynamic and everything. I really also want to work on this at some point. The ideal plan would be to finish this by Friday, but that's a lot. I also want to finish Pack Up the Moon because that'll be quick once I actually binge it. I just like need to be in the mood to cry, you know, because it's going to happen. All right, I'm gonna go hit the shower because I stink. Oh, I'm also gonna be working on this. I'm glad my mom died via audio while I drive and work. All right, okay, for real, bye. I freaking hit 5K. So guess where I am. I get my balloons. Time to blow up the balloon. Y'all know the tradition. Joey's in the shower. We popped a frozen pizza in the oven. Probably gonna take some 5K photos post tomorrow while it's still sunny outside. I'm gonna make Joey take pictures of me. And then I'm probably gonna turn my phone off for the rest of the night. Maybe I'll go live on Patreon tomorrow for some 5K celebration sprints, but not today, Satan. I just wanna celebrate with Joseph, but he doesn't know that yet, so when I tell him, he's gonna be so happy. Watch. Cause I don't feel like editing today either. I'm just gonna unplug. I read my 200 pages. Oh, I could talk about that while I do this. I finished three books today. Y'all know I finished Fragments of Horror this morning, five stars. I finished three five stars today, like what? I saw on Kindle Unlimited that Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid is a thing. I totally forgot that that was a novella, but I was never able to read it because it was only on Kindle Unlimited or Audible or something, but I didn't have it when I found out about it. So I finally read it all in pretty much one sitting. I read it during my lunch break. It was 88 pages. I read a little bit before during my 15 minute break, but that was so good it was five stars it's basically if you're triggered by cheating don't read it because it's literally letters back and forth between this husband whose wife is cheating on this other woman's no cheating with cheating on him with this wife's husband and they they are in correspondence and then it gets all messy and it's just so good. It's classic Taylor Jenkins read writing. Like that is the TJR that I want. Fuck Carrie Soto. Okay, fuck Malibu Rising. Anything pre-Daisy Jones is where I'm at with TJR. So I'm glad there was another backlist book from her that I was able to consume because I missed her, okay? She has not come back since Daisy Jones. And then I finished I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Finished the audiobook. It was really good. Like, it was so hard to stop listening and like I rewound, rewound, rewinded, rewound. <laughs> the last like 10 seconds, like three times. Cause I was like, oh my God, this hit. I just love last lines of memoirs, you know? But that one has a lot of trigger warnings. Definitely look them up, but there's sexual harassment. There's obviously death of a parent, just based on the title, parental abuse eating disorders is a huge one so definitely beware but it's a very well written book it's really well edited as well too definitely worth the hype and i'm gonna keep my physical copy even though i read it mostly audibly all audibly so yeah i am gonna count those pages as well i'm way over 200 even without Jeanette mccurdy but i don't need you but I'm still gonna count them because I do have the physical copy. I know I'm weird, but y'all know me. I don't I don't wanna do the math if I if it's just audio and I don't have the physical copy. I can finally replace the four because she is struggling over there. Oh, Joseph's about to come out. I don't know why I keep calling him Joseph lately, but he's probably gonna be naked, so I'm gonna get off here and I'll talk to y'all later. We just took 5k photos. Now we have energy drinks and pizza. Can you cheers your pizza slice with me for the video? Show your face though. Tink. <laughs> Let's get this bread, or whatever the cool kids say. <laughs> All right.
favorite love bugs. It is 8.40. <laughs> I need to stop for a second cup of coffee and some breakfast. I could have made a breakfast sandwich, but alas. Okay, so a lot kind of happened today. <laughs> this morning. So I started The Burning Girls by CJ Tudor on audio. I've been wanting to read this basically since it came out. I think it was for Gabby's book club that I checked it out, but I never got to it. I'm like, I don't know, 3% into that. And I like the audiobook so far. I can, I can vibe. We'll see. I feel like it'll be better audibly because I feel like I'd get too annoyed reading it physically since it has a lot of like religion talk. So yeah, we'll vibe with that and see. Throughout the day, I probably won't finish it today. It's like a 10 hour audiobook and I don't think I have the brain capacity today. I'll be listening to it in pretty much double speed so it'll be around five hours, a little over five hours. I don't think my brain can do that today. As you saw, I was talking to Kat from Bambina Katarina and we were supposed to buddy read The Devil Makes Three, I think in like February. We're both still like trudging through it and she said that she just thinks it's one of those books that she needs to binge to get through. And I totally agree with her. She's definitely ahead of me. Last time we talked about it, she was past page 100 for sure. I don't know where she's at now, but I didn't realize I was only on page fucking 50. So I worked on that. I read like a chapter. I don't know, just something about it's not captivating me, but I think I feel the same way as Kat. Like once I binge it, I think it'll move faster. But I don't think today's a day for that. I don't know, we'll see. I'm thinking of going live on Patreon today to celebrate 5K, but it feels kind of awkward because I just went down to 49.99 again. So we'll see if that, if it surpasses 5,000 again today at some point. I just need to upload. I edited a little bit of my video too. I have another weekly vlog in the works. So I'm gonna try to finish that tonight, but there was like an hour and a half of footage so i don't know i'll probably work on it during the live show and then a little bit after i told joey it's a grind night for me because last night we, i like forced myself not to do anything like youtube wise or even reading since i read way past 200 pages throughout the day so yeah we're gonna grind tonight maybe do some laundry but probably not i'll probably save that to tomorrow oh i also worked on dracula i got ready like super freaking fast i took like a seven minute shower literally don't even have eyeliner on today i just put mascara and brows on so that I could read for the last like 20 minutes before I had to leave so I read Dracula I've been behind on my like one chapter a day but whenever I feel like picking it up is what's happening but then I brought I'm not gonna pull it out right now because obviously I'm driving it's called only on the weekends by Dean Ada who was the author of the black flamingo as well which I really loved and this book is in verse so I figured if I got a huge chunk of this done it'll be easier <laughs> to read my 200 pages for the day gotta be strategic okay Okay. strategic while also reaching goals and finishing books because this is a library book and I don't have a library book going right now like physically and I told myself that I'd like chip away at that library stack because it's getting out of hand oh I also read Air Awakens during my workout I'm really liking it honestly I like how bookish the main character is Vala Vala whatever so I brought my Kindle with me as well just to read on my 15 minute breaks I think and then I'll read only on the weekends on my lunch break. That's the plan. I really gotta pee, because I drank that iced coffee this morning. I'm freaking tired, it's only Wednesday. I'm already over this week. Hello, it is many, many hours later. I just hit my 200 pages. I think I crossed it by a couple pages, but recap of the day. I have been exhausted since I got to work, basically, because like, you know, I'm up for like five hours already and like I use my brain the most in that five hours. Like I read and shit. I survived, barely. I had two cups of coffee and an energy drink today and I'm still exhausted. After work, I immediately sprinted with my patrons to celebrate 5K and then Christina joined us too. Fun times. I didn't read too much on there cause I was editing. Still haven't finished editing. Gotta do that tomorrow morning. Still debating on what I'm doing tomorrow morning. Like if I'm going to the gym or not, honestly, we'll just let my body tell me because we're gonna listen to her tomorrow. So reading wise, I just read a couple chapters of Pack Up the Moon because I'm like, I'm ready to be sad again. <laughs> and it was sad, I didn't cry though. We're also watching From Scratch, which is a show on Netflix. That's basically the same story as this, just a different setting. So I'm like consuming two different media formats. 
of story. What? I'm consuming this story in two different forms of media. We just love being sad in this household. So that's still good. Still en route to being five stars. I read a ton of Air Awakens as well on my Kindle because that's what I brought to work. Oh, I forgot to update. I ended up returning only on the weekends by Dean Adda. I just wasn't in the mood for YA contemporary and I'm gonna sift through these library books and try to pick out like three to five to just return without reading because it's getting really bad. And I came home with another hold today, but it's for the book troop. It's the book troop pick for tomorrow. Speaking of the book troop, this was a pick. I think I talked about this this morning, but I'm now 80 pages into it and it's all right. I mean, I have to listen to the audiobook in like 1.9 speed, which is like slow for me. At work, when I'm like distracted, I was listening to it at 1.7 because they have an accent and like I know this isn't the type of story that I can just like half pay attention to, you know? Damn, it's past three minutes. You said you would stop me at two minutes. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not paying attention. It's okay. You stop. No, that's pretty much it anyway. And then I read a few pages of Dracula, but all in all, I read about 203, 205 pages today. So, so far so good, my dudes. I probably will not pick up this camera until tomorrow. Good night. I'll catch y'all tomorrow, bright and early, bright eyed and bushy tailed on a Thursday. Say good night, Joey. Good night, Joey. remember the last time I was this tired during a work week like I mean I was probably more tired during a 24-hour readathon but I'm just done and having my crampy I'm a crampy vampy right now that's what my patrons and I call it when we have the time of the month I am so tired that I literally just realized that I put my leggings on backwards I was wearing them backwards this entire day. Like literally the tag was in front of me. Oh, I'm so dumb. But I'm here, I just got home. I need a nap, I need a power nap. This is getting good, The Burning Girls. I read it throughout the day. I could have read more, but I was just too tired. And like, even though people are like hanging themselves and killing other people and slaughtering animals and shit like that, I'm like falling asleep because the narrator has an accent and it's such a soothing voice. And it's just like it's kind of ironic that I, you know, with the content. This one chapter that I just finished had really good discussions about like what is evil and where does evil come from and the last line was like, how do you know the devil's a man? And I was like, oh. It hit. I think I'm gonna like this more than I did when I started it. I'm hoping to finish it tonight, but that's if I can even open my eyes, you know? I also got this hold, the orange volume six. Didn't even know this existed until Gabby from Gabby Reads found volume seven at Barnes and Noble and vlogged about it. So I wanna try to read this tonight to get my pages in. I mean, I think I'm pretty close to 200 pages. I read a bunch of Air Awakens during my lunch break as well. I'm just like paranoid because obviously I didn't read too much this morning. I think I read like 20 pages this morning because I had to edit, which I'm glad about. I'm glad I got that video up. It's just not glad that I didn't get to read. So now we have to act on desperate measures or act on desperate times because they call for desperate measures, aka a manga, which came just in time. They also checked out In the Company of Witches and When the Crows Away, which I already checked out like months ago, but never got to. And I'm just like in the cozy mystery mood, but haven't read any in a while. So I have those two. And then I have that Vera Wong unsolicited murder advice book. So maybe it's a vlog moment, who knows. But I also started The Spite House this morning, as y'all saw, and I literally only read like four pages of it. Haven't read much of Dracula either. I'm in the middle of 12 books currently. This is gonna be number 13, cause I'm definitely gonna try to crank this out today. For now, I think I'm gonna try to take like a 20 to 30 minute nap, cause then I can function better. Am I gonna go to my mom's to do laundry? I don't know, I gathered everything. It's a lose-lose situation, I was telling Joey. Like, if I have to look at that one more time, like for another day, I'm gonna feel like shit. But I think I'm ready to take on feeling like shit tomorrow, looking at my laundry, then doing it tonight. That's the conclusion I've concluded. Good night for now. Hello. It is 10.30ish or something. Joey and I just finished watching From Scratch. God. If y'all are trying to sob. Ugh. Even Joey sobbed. I didn't sob. But I cried. Ugh. I'm so sad. Yeah. 
It's a true story too. I know I bought the book and it got delivered to my mom. And then I felt bad because I didn't go to my mom's. I was like, I just woke up. I took a nap for like almost two hours. And I texted her and I was like, I just woke up. Sorry, I didn't come over. And this fucking shit happened. I can't stop. This is your friendly reminder to do things you love because you won't always be able to do it. <laughs> oh my god, my arthritic fingers fucking hurt and it's not helping. God, the things I do for fucking YouTube. Oh my god, my eyelashes look good though. <laughs> Why are they so long? So what? Long? 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 What's a long? I'm gonna get my hair done tomorrow. Finally fix these roots. What are you doing? Sorry. Oh, there's just like a lighter blood, probably. This is looking a little yellow. Okay, good night. I probably read 200 pages. I'll probably try to read a little bit more. I don't even know. But I read like half of Orange. Okay, you're at the mark. Huh? Three seconds. Okay, bye. Hello. It is 2 p.m. And yes, I'm at home. Because I did not go to work today. I called in sick. I was going to work from home because I did have something to do. But my manager knew how tired I was all week. So she was like, your body needs rest, girl. So take the day if you have the sick hours. So I took it and then I slept until noon. I woke up at like 6.15 with Joey and I finished Orange Volume 6. But like I have a headache. My cramps are hurting. Not at the moment, but at the time. And everything was just so bad and i have a, a hair appointment today and i was gonna hang out with my old co-workers but i might keep the hair appointment just because like it's so hard to make an appointment with her at a time that i'm available and it shouldn't be too bad because i'm not re-dying this part i'm only dying the front or like fixing the front and like my roots are in desperate need of some tlc and i know i'll feel better if my hair looks better because there's no way i'm gonna sit there and get my nails done anytime soon so we're gonna fix one thing at a time okay but that's at 5 15 so i I have about i only have like three hours left of this day to myself i've been watching katherine karras i ordered a skillet for grubhub and i chose grubhub instead of doordash because i got a little ad that said seven dollars off your first order for this place and uh, i didn't enter the fucking promo code because it said it would be automatically applied to checkout and i guess it didn't so that was upsetting but it's fine i most likely will go to target at some point because i need to get some pads and stuff maybe i'll buy a book who knows i want to buy a joey a book because every time we're at target he looks at that one book wrong place wrong time so i want to just get it for him i've also been reading air awakens on my kindle hoping to finish this during my hair appointment because i have like less than three hours left of the book but orange volume six this is future it was pretty good i gave it four stars it was cute i, I went through it so fast could have done it in one sitting but i wanted to finish the show last night with joey this was book number 80 of 2023 i need four more books to do 31 books in 31 days today is the 31st so i'm gonna end the vlog later tonight there's no way i'm gonna finish four books but who knows we can try because i also have the audiobook for the burning girls as y'all know and i'm now on page 182 i like the vibes and the atmosphere and the creepy stuff that does go on is creepy and it it has my ears perking up you know but in terms of like the characters i'm not sure like who's who and what i know there's a kid named flo but all the other ones are kind of just like i'm going through the motions with them you know i don't really know anything about them i don't really know what they do what they're up to things like that until something creepy happens so that's kind of how i feel about this it might be a three star just because i don't feel too connected to it but i am enjoying the parts that hit you know but yeah i've been wanting to read this for a while so i'm glad i'm finally getting to it Maybe I'll pick up the Spite House at some point. I also have Autumn of the Grimoire still, which is calling my name a little because I am missing fall, so. All right, Joey's not here to stop my two minute timer for these <laughs> clips. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna read for maybe an hour or two and then get ready to go to Target. Cause it's literally like a two minute drive, but oh, just being in public is so repulsive to me right now. I feel like ass. <laughs> Why did you try to bend on the- I have not moved from bed. I just slept for another two hours. Almost two hours. Oh god, what is my hair doing? I canceled my hair appointment. I moved it to tomorrow, which means I have to rearrange some things for the weekend, but that's fine. I'll figure it out. They also canceled game night because- did I say it was a game night? My old coworkers canceled the thing tonight because of the weather. There's like tornado warnings and shit, but before the rain and whatever else starts, I think I'm gonna head over to Target and then wait for Joey to come home. I haven't done too much reading. I am now on page 226.
six of the burning girls definitely gonna try to finish this today possibly my last book of the month definitely gonna read air awakens as well i'm probably gonna listen to this on my drive as well as at target probably bring my headphones yeah i gotta get some coffee too because i need to be done sleeping for the day i'm over it <laughs> My poor books are about to get rained on. Bro, I know for a fact I didn't order this many. Oh my. Okay, so here's everything I gotta unbox real quick. I'm gonna set y'all on my coffee because I didn't break my tripod because I'm dumb. I wasn't expecting to come over here. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Start with Barnes and Noble because I know exactly what this is. I ordered Tombs by Junji Ito because I'm on my Junji Ito kick again. One of my patrons, Chelsea, already read this. She said it was mediocre, but our opinions tend to differ greatly for many books. So I'm hoping it's a five star for me, but we'll see because every time I say that, I jinx myself. I'm loving all of Junji Ito's stuff. Y'all know I read two of them just this week, I think. But let's start with the Amazon because some of these, I know I didn't order myself. When life gives you vampire... Ah! Okay, listen, I checked this out from the library, The Undertaking of Heart and Mercy, because it's Olivia Rita Latte's Patreon book club pick for, I think, May. And I've been eyeing this for so long because I love this cover, but I think it's going to be, like, not a five-star book. But it could be, but we'll see. So, let's see who this, these are from. There are two different notes. Congrats on 5K, I'm so proud of you and grateful for our lair. I hope you love this book as much as I love you and your nerdy bookish and non-bookish videos. From Ashlyn. Ashlyn's one of my vamps. Ugh, I love her. Of course I had to get you a vampy book. Hope you'll love it. Thank you for making such a comforting lair to call home. I'm going to cry. And for always making my day that much better when you upload from Ashlyn. Stop, Ashlyn, I love you. Thank you so much. So this one's for the vampy book. So when life gives you vampires. And then this one is for Undertaking Heart of Mercy. So Ashlyn loved this book. So we're gonna hope I feel the same way. Oh my God, that was so sweet. I'm gonna cry. All right, and then the next one. I know I did order some Amazon books. I just don't know. Um, Dear Jan, congrats again on making it to 5K subscribers. I love the Shadowhunter universe, so I had to get this box set for you. Let me know if you want to buddy read the series. Take care and love you lots from Catherine. Catherine got me the Dark Artifices box set. I need to make a move on with this. I need to start the Infernal Devices. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. Thank you so much, Catherine. I would love to buddy read with you. I will let you know when I get to this part of the series though. Or you can buddy read the Infernal Devices with me. I will message you. And if you see this and I haven't messaged you yet, please message me because there is a good chance I'll forget. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep this in the box. Oh my god. I'm always like flabbergasted when y'all get me box sets because that's like a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Also, I hate that I look like this during this exciting unboxing segment. I was not expecting y'all to get me fucking five gifts like what did i buy this Come on. no no congratulations on 5k it's well deserved thank you for all the hard work you put in welcoming space you've created from tiffany she got me love sickness oh my god another juji ito this was my very first Junji Ito and it's one of my top faves and I've had on my wishlist forever. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Another one of my vamps. Y'all are incredible. Are you kidding? Now I want to like put up all the Patreon videos today. Like I just want to like grind for y'all. Like I'm in tears. I think this is mine though. I think I ordered these. So shocked. Okay, yeah. This, this I ordered myself. So I got Fear of the Flames per Jody and Katie from Katie's Readings recommendation. Well, Katie is about to read it, but she reminded me that this existed. But Jody, Jody says she loved this and she flew through it even though it's huge. So we're gonna hope I love it just as much. She said it's a very quick and easy read. So yeah, and I love a good like indie published paperback. I know this has dragons and some sort of romance and let's just hope I get to it sometime fairly soon. I have so many green books in this stack. Would have been helpful for Gabby's Screaming Color Readathon. And then I also got a workout set. Let's hope this fits me nicely. Just one of these inspired by Christina from Christina's Chapters, but I got shorts. We're gonna hope that fits me well. A Pango orders. Wow, thank you all so much. 
much. I'm not, if my head didn't hurt so badly, I would literally be crying right now. I can't open this. Why is everything so difficult? Can I open this one easily? Ooh, Lap Bona. Otesha Mosh Bag. Y'all know I've been interested in all her books after Death in Her Hands, especially. I heard this one's super disturbing, and Joey wants to read it too, so he convinced me to just buy it. So I did. All right, I got this version of Vicious. Because y'all know I loved it. I gave it five stars. I think this edition is out of print. I could be wrong. It's the original one. And I got it for $5. So we're gonna hope it's worth more later on because that'd be cool. Oh, and then we have The Comfort of Monsters, which is like a fictionalized true crime, I think, during the summer that Jeffrey Dahmer was like, you know, on a rampage. I haven't heard literally anyone talk about this. I just saw it at work one day, I think. I'm intrigued. So I will let y'all know what I feel about this. I truly don't remember what this one is. I need scissors. BRB. Okay. Oh yeah, I got from scratch. I really hope I love this as much as I did the show. We just finished it last night. Oh, it's a nice like matte paperback. Okay, it's not focusing anymore, but we're just gonna deal with it. Y'all wanna cry? Watch from scratch and then read it with me. <laughs> Since this isn't focusing, I'm gonna go. Talk to y'all later. Thank you again so much for everyone who gave me 5K gifts. Fuck my life! Hello. I'm back with an update because I just finished The Burning Girls like an hour ago and then I edited a video for Patreon. I gave this three stars. I really liked it towards the end especially. I feel like if I read this physically, it would have taken me a lot longer to finish, but like I probably would have given it a four if I read it physically because I feel like I would have paid attention more because audibly, you know me, a lot of times I zone out. The audiobook itself was good. I just didn't feel connected to the characters and it took me a while to get invested in the plot. Like at the end, it was like plot point after plot point after plot point, you know, like so many things were happening at once. So many things were being revealed. And I noticed like about halfway through that the writing in this is really choppy. Like the sentences are super short. So that's why I think like physically it still would have been okay because it would have gone quickly. Not only are there short chapters, but they're short sentences. So I would have been flying through this if I were invested in the plot. Once the murders and the kills and everything were being revealed that's when I was like oh let me keep going I did like the ending y'all know I love when fire plays a big role in books because it's literally terrifying <laughs> to me so like I just enjoy reading about it but I would never like want to experience a big fire you know in my life there were a lot of shocking moments like jaw-dropping moments but it was like they were happening to these characters obviously right but I wasn't like I didn't feel as much as I would have if I actually gave a shit about the characters. But half the time I didn't even know who was who. So things were being revealed, people were getting killed, and I was like, oh shit. But I was like, it didn't it didn't hit the heart, you know? <laughs> Cause like I didn't I didn't know too much about these characters where I was like, wow can't believe that happened to that person. Does that make sense? Probably not. Then there was this one perspective that I still don't know. Like I was confused as to who it was because the narrators changed in the audiobook as well. I'm not saying there are plot holes in the book itself. I think there are just plot holes in my brain. <laughs> so that's why it's a three, but I know a lot of people who gave this a five. So I know it's a me problem. So yeah, those are my thoughts on that. I think like, let's be freaking real. What time is it? It is 8.20. I have two hours and 43 minutes left of Air Awakens, 55% through. Am I gonna finish it tonight? Probably not. Realistically, probably not. Am I gonna finish another book tonight at all? Probably not. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. What did I read? Ugh, fuck, my phone's out there. Okay, so I read this. I read Orange Volume 6. I can't do this. I need my journal. Hold up. I can't remember anything. <laughs> okay, so I read, I think I finished All the Dangerous Things in this vlog, which I gave five stars. Fragments of Horror, which was also five stars. Evidence of the Fair, also five stars. I'm glad my mom died. Five stars. Damn! So many five stars in a row. And then Orange Volume 6 was four stars. Okay, so I read a total of one, two, three, four, five, six books in this vlog. Not too shabby, I guess. I just don't feel satisfied because it wasn't like cutting down my Goodreads currently reading and I still have a bunch. I have, I think I have 12 current reads right now. Maybe 11 since I finished The Burning Girls. But it's fine. It is what it is. Got all of April. <laughs> Editing Jan, insert this <laughs> into the last clip because I forgot that this was a freaking challenge video. So I did successfully read at least 200 pages a day every day of this week. Hold the applause. So Monday, I read 215 pages. Tuesday, I read 495. Wednesday, I read 200 exactly. Thursday, I read 217. And today, I read 275 and counting because I'm still gonna be reading a little bit more. So yeah, that was successful. Ooh. Hell yeah, it's possible. But you know, it wouldn't have been possible if I didn't wake up at the ass crack of dawn every day, so. Welcome. 
fine. <laughs> he can take credit for it, fine. Even though I get up, even if you don't. You do. So yeah, that's all. Now back to regularly scheduled. Yep. That thing. Back to the same me, but half an hour ago. <laughs> anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to say put the fire emoji, but I feel like I used that recently. What else have I read? Oh, you know what? Put a rainy emoji in the comments down below because we've gotten many flash flood warnings today. I'm just going to put a rainy, <laughs> rainy, gloomy emoji in the comments down below if you made it to the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hope y'all had a great day. Stay safe, stay positive, and stay spooky always. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Joey. Bye, Joey.